Hello friends. So in this uh, session, we are going to deal with another question which uh, requires application of uh, Euclid's division lemma. Now, uh, what was Euclid's division lemma? You know that if there is there are two integers a and b, if there are two integers a and b, then we get uh, a pair of another positive integers uh, q and r. So a and b are positive integers, mind you, and q and r are other set of positive integers, and then and by Euclid's division lemma, we know that A can be expressed as BQ plus R, where, where A is uh, the dividend, B is the divisor, Q is the quotient, and R is the remainder. And this condition holds 0 is less than or equal to R, less than or equal to, no, sorry, less than B. Now, using uh, we'll be using this application, uh, application, sorry, application of this lemma here in this question. So let's drill down and uh, try to dissect the question. The question says, show that the square, so this is important uh, information, square of any positive, again, positive integer. So square of any positive integer is of the form of 3m or 3m plus one. So any, any square, if you take, let's take some examples first. So let's say if you have uh, three and square it, so three square is nine. So clearly 9 is of the form of 3m where m is 3. So again, take a random number, let's say 5, square it, you'll get 25. And it is, if you see, this is 3 into 8 plus 1, which is of the form 3m plus 1. Another number, let's say uh, you take um, 12. So 12 square is 144. So if you see this itself is a multiple of 3, um, 48. Okay, so either it is of, of the form of 3m or it, it is of the form of 3m plus 1, which is, which is uh, you know, uh, uh, clearly seen here. But is this true for all the numbers? That's what the question asks, that if you have a positive integer, let's say a, then square of, square of a, that is a square, will always be of the form 3m or 3m plus 1. Let's let's now understand how to prove it. Now we know that any given integer a can be of the form of clearly 3k. So if you divide any integer by 3, you will get either remainder as 0 or a could be or a could be 3k plus 1 or a could be 3k plus 2. Correct. Now uh, how do we know that? Why? Because if Let's say any integer a can be expressed as 3 into q plus r, where r will be r will be greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 3. 3 is the divisor here. So what values r can take? r can take, r can become 0, or r can be 1, or r can be 2. So hence, using this, this is from what? Euclid's division lemma. If you see, so hence any integer can be expressed as 3k plus 0, 3k plus 1, and 3k plus 2. Let us say case 1 this this thing i am saying this is case 1 so case 1 when let's say any integer is of the form of 3k plus 1 sorry 3k plus 0 this is let's say this is 3k um sorry this is case 2 so this is case 2 case 2 and this one is case 3 case 3 Okay, now let us evaluate um, all these three case cases and see that in every case, the square, a square will be of this form. Let us see case by case. So let us take first case one. Yeah. So let us take case one. What was case one? Case one. So case one was when a is equal to 3k. So a square clearly will be 3k whole square which is 9k square, which can be written as 3 times 3k square. 3 times 3k square. This dot is not for decimal. This is for duplication. So 3 times 3k square. So clearly you can say 3 into m, where, where m is equal to 3k squared. Okay. Now let us take, so in this case, this, this works. So when a is 3k, Definitely a square will be of the form 3m. Now take case 2. Case 2. So what is case 2? When a is of the form 3k plus 1. Let us square both sides. You will get a square and 3k plus 1 whole squared. 
which is nothing but if you see 3k whole square plus twice of 3k times 1 plus 1 square which is from what which is from the identity you all know a plus b whole square is a square plus twice a b plus b square correct now from here if you expand it you will get 9k square plus 6k plus 1 if you see you can take 3 common from this term so it is 3k square plus 2k so i am taking 3 common between first two terms plus 1 so clearly if you if you say let's let us say m is equal to 3k square plus 2k if i assume that this is m then this becomes 3m plus 1 so this is this satisfies the second case so either it should be of the 3m form or 3m plus form so this also works let us go and see if it works for case 3 as well so what was case 3 case case 3 always it is better to write in these steps in these cases so let's say a is equal to 3k plus 2 okay this is the third case square both sides again so a square is nothing but 3k plus 2 whole square again use identity which one this one use this identity to expand it and you will get what 3k 3k whole square plus 2 into 3k into 2 plus 2 square okay so simplifying you'll get what 9 9k square plus what uh, 2 to 4 4 into 3 12k plus 4 which can be written as 9k square plus 12k plus 3 plus 1 isn't it we can write that now from these three terms what do we see we see that there is a common factor and that's 3 so let's take that common factor out and within parentheses we can write 3k square plus 4k plus 4k plus 1 and then this is extra 1 again so if you consider if you call 3k square plus 4k plus 1 equals m then what will you get you will get what will you get this will give you 3m again plus 1 where what have we assumed we have assumed that m is equal to 3k square plus sorry ah, 4k 4k plus 1 right so in all the cases in the first case we saw what did we see we saw that if it is of the 3k form then it is 3m form the square is of 3m when it is of 3k plus 1 form when a is 3k plus 1 form a square is 3m plus 1 form and when a is 3k plus 2 form then a square will be 3m plus 1 form so in all the three cases we could do that why did we start and why did we choose b as 3 or the divisor as 3 clearly why because there is you know uh, the question is saying that it, um, that all the uh, square of terms can be expressed as 3m and 3m plus 1 so our natural choice of divisor in this case was 3 so that we could get factors of 3 and hence we could prove that yes indeed square of any integer positive positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 these are the two possibilities of square of any integer okay so uh, this is uh, all for this session thanks for watching this do subscribe our channel for more such sessions and uh, uh, we'll be taking up a few more questions in next videos thanks a lot